Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are here at the Belfry today. We are at the PJ National Golf Academy and in this video we're going to give you three key things that you need to focus on in order to hit an intentional fade out on the golf course. So learning to shape the ball is something that golfers of a certain ability will often find helps them to sort of reduce their scores. It enables you to get a little bit closer to some of those flags that might be sort of tucked away on the left hand or the right hand side of the green if you can, can if you can successfully control the curve on the ball and intentionally curve the ball. So there's lots of different things that have to happen to move the ball through the air, but we're just gonna focus on three things that are really quite important in order to move that ball left to right for a right-handed golfer. Now, if you are going to shape the ball, it probably needs to be for those golfers who have got a relatively neutral club path. What that means is when I stand and I try and hit a straight shot at a target, my club path is pretty neutral. If you have got club path issues, if your club path is too much out to the right or too much to the left, shot shaping is going to be very difficult for you. So if you aren't sure what your club path is, go and see your local pro. They will definitely be able to tell you what it is. Even if they haven't got a flight scrub or a track man, they can probably give you an idea what your path is. Work towards a more neutral path and then shot shaping will become a lot easier. So here are the three things that you need to do to make sure you can fade the ball out on the golf course. You can see I've got my ball to target line. I've got a 200 yard marker out right there, which is my target. So point number one is you need to align your body left of target, okay? So think of somewhere up the left hand side, okay? This is gonna depend on how much you want to curve the ball. My advice would be if you're not really into, if you're not really curved the ball much before, try and make these quite extreme. It'd be good to get that ball curving quite considerably. You can then sort of refine that and reduce the amount it curves when you're out on the golf course. So the first thing would be pick something that's up the left hand side. So I've got the 200 yard here, which is my target. I'm gonna pick the other 200 yard marker up on the left and that's gonna be where I set my body line. So point number one is to align the whole body left of target. When I say whole body, I hear lots of golfers telling me that when they're going to shape the ball, they're going to pull this foot back or they're going to pull this foot back. That's not really going to make a massive influence. I'm going to have a massive influence what the club does. We need the whole body to be aligned left of target. Okay, so that's point number one is to align the body left of target. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's my alignment. Point number two is to play the golf ball one ball further forward in your stance. So that's gonna be slightly closer to my lead foot. Now, the reason we're doing this is because it's going to help the path be slightly left of your target. And if we're gonna hit a fade, we need the path to be left of your target by some amount. As we are swinging this golf, court, golf club on an arc, this way, it's on a curve, the later I hit that golf ball on this curve, the more likely it is that my club will be moving to the left. Really, really important that we get that. If I have that ball too far back in my stance, the club path is more likely to be right. Very, very difficult to hit a fade if the club path is to the right. So we don't want to move the ball position too extreme, but a little bit further forward is going to help the path move left. So we've got our first two points. We've got align the body to the left of target, and we've got play the golf ball one ball further forward in the stance. The third point, and probably the, probably the most important point, is where we align the club face. I want you to align the club face halfway between where your body aim is and where you want that ball to finish. So my body align is at the 200 marker on the left. I want the ball to finish at the 200 yard marker on the right. I'm gonna align the club face halfway between the two. That is that setup, okay? So we've got our three points. I've got my alignment is to the left, my whole body alignment. I've got the ball one ball further forward in my stance, and I've got the club face aligned halfway between the two. What we have now created is a situation where, provided my path is pretty neutral relative to my body, my club will be moving somewhere to the left of target. Relative to that club path, the club face will be somewhere slightly to the right of it. The difference between the two is what's gonna give that ball its left to right curve. So, let me go ahead and hit one, and see how we get on. So, align myself to the left, ball is fractionally further forward, set the club face between the two, and then now I can just make my golf swing, and hopefully we'll get that left to right ball flight. Okay, so that ball definitely faded, probably didn't come back quite enough. 
So it certainly started left, it certainly had some curve to the right, it probably didn't come back quite enough, okay? But this is something that you need to practice. You know, take it to the drive range, take it to the practice area, figure out what happens, okay? You may well feel that you're overfading it, you may be when maybe find that you're underfading it. Have a little play around with what you need to do. It's a strange shot because the ball is slightly different, the face is slightly different relative to your body. It does feel a little bit strange. A little bit of practice, however, and we can start to get this. Let me have another go. See if we can do a slightly better one because that was, it was okay, but it wasn't as good as I'd hopefully like to do. So align my body left, ball is slightly further forward, align the club between the two points and give it a hit. Okay, and that's actually very, very similar to the first one. So, not much better than the second time. It did fade, but just not, mu not as much as I would, not as much as I would ideally like, okay? So, if you remember those three points, alignment left, ball slightly further forward, face slightly open to your body line, but close to your target, so in between the two, that ball should fade. It will help you on the golf course if you can control this ball flight and make it consistent, you'll be able to find that you can get closer to some flags that maybe you couldn't do before. So, have a go. Let me know how you got on in the comments box. Um, there's a like button down there as well, so click that if you did like the video. And if you haven't done already, then please subscribe to my channel. It just means that you won't miss any of the content. Okay, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.